Hi, Ellen. How are you? Yes, it is. This is Ellen. Hi. Um, good, thank you. And thank you for letting Janice know about the issue with the phone. I was able to let, you know, someone here know so that they could get it fixed because we didn't realize that the phone was not working correctly for our office. So that was very helpful. Um, so, all right. So I wanted to let you know that I have talked to Livingston County. Um, on your behalf and wanted to let you know that today your case has been opened in Livingston, okay? They're, it's, it's pending right now. They, pro they processed it yesterday, so you'll be getting your June benefits available to you. Now, in regards to the card situation, um, you do or you do not have your old cards from Westchester? I do not uh, want to use my old card from Westchester because the illegal aliens mafia member Kevin McGuire, who has been selling uh, the citizens' uh, identities and government benefits to illegals in the country, has been selling my identity uh, and Luis Aliasson's identities to illegals, and we don't want to help uh, him rip off the taxpayers. He has ripped up, uh, he has stolen a lot of money from the taxpayers, millions already in the nine years that he has been doing so, uh, and we don't want to help him. We are not going to use uh, 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 Westchester County Department of Social Services benefits uh, or their cards or anything from there when we are registered voters of Livingston County Department of Social Services. Okay. It is, it is, so no. here's basically what's going to happen then is Livingston County is has I talked to them today and the director of the SNAP program is um, going to have them issue you a temporary vault card um, to use while they're waiting for your new uh, photo cards to come in. Okay, before those to get mailed, the order did go in for the new cards for you, um, but that we're not that can take up to ten days. So she's going to have them put in the mail to you a card for you to use in the meantime. Uh, remember that Luis Oyarsson needs a card also. I'm sorry, what? Remember that uh, elderly and chronically that ill uh, citizen Luis Oyarsson needs a card also. Oh, okay. So basically, I believe they're probably going to send you one card because I believe they have you on the same case. How can they have uh, two people in the same food stamp case if it's two different cases? Because they, they have you in, but they had you in the same case because the, uh, according to the, the records in there, you, the, you and your, is it your mother? Yes, uh, uh, and I'm her caretaker. Okay, so mm -hmm. what you'll want to do is um, if you need your cases to be separate, um, they said they would be happy to help you with that, but right now they have you listed as a household of two people. So mm -hmm. what I would do is on Monday, you might give them a call and let them know. And I can send them an email today and let them know also, but I would definitely follow up with them on Monday at the Livingston office. Yes, Helen, uh, would you mind telling me how much... And then, they'll give, and then they'll give your mom a separate one. Yes. Sorry? Do you mind telling me how many, uh, how much of food stamps uh, is Miss Oyarsson getting, and how much of food stamps am I getting? Um, on the case in Livingston. Mm-hmm. The two of you will get. I mean, look, I wrote it. I wrote it down here. Let's see here. Let me go to my email. I had it written down. I want to say it was two seventy-eight, but let me make sure for the two of you, but let me make sure here. 278, how can uh, uh, citizens uh, like us get 278 when illegal aliens mafia members get $300 each of food stamps? And we have worked dozens of years and paid taxes and uh, done everything right while illegals are getting $300 uh, per capita of food stamps. So citizens don't eat, is that it? They can't get $300. They you cannot get $300 per person for food stamps. The maximum benefit for one person is 194 It depending on how their family is. I mean, if they have more than one person in their household, then Look, that's completely different. I have uh, researched House, the illegal aliens mafia and the Department of Social Services uh, employees who are illegal aliens mafia members for 15 years. I cannot... I can 
cannot speak to other people's cases. Um, I can only speak to yours. That I'm and uh, another thing, the Department of Social Services. law, they cannot get. Yes, another thing, the Department of Social Services Hello? Commissioner, um, Ms. Uh, Diane Dane, uh, just sent uh, a Medicaid uh, notice to Luisa Oyasun saying that she has New York State trade Medicaid since uh, today, uh, I mean since yesterday, June, from June 2nd to um, December 30th, 2016, and uh, that's a lie because we just spoke to uh, AARP prescription drug plan and they confirmed that she does not have New York State straight Medicaid or uh, the New York State uh, extra help that New York State straight Medicaid recipients get. So the Department of Social Services Illegal Alliance Mafia okay. Member and Commissioner Wait, I don't, I don't is know. lying about that too. I don't know anything about Medicaid. Oh, okay. Well, let me ask you about the food stamps. We we I filled out I two only, separate forms only, of uh, we we filled out two separate separate forms uh, of uh, uh, Department of Social Services uh, of Livingston County, uh, and uh, I prepare my food separately, and because uh, I don't have the same diet as a chronically ill citizen has, and she filled out her form separately. And we handed in two forms. We asked for the uh, copies of uh, both forms, uh, and they only gave, her a co gave us a copy of Luisa Oyasun after we contacted the media. I'm still waiting for my copy for two, for two months now, approximately. Uh, I'm still waiting for my copy for about two months now. No, since it was July 2000, I mean July 4, uh, no April 18, 2016, and it's more than a month now, and they have refused to give me a copy of my uh, food stamps uh, application or my general help application uh, because they falsified apply put me to to, to apply to different uh, programs and they kept those benefits. So they're stealing from the taxpayers using my name and social security numbers. Ma'am, ma'am, uh, Livingston County has told me that they sent you out copies of the application. No, they sent they sent Luisa Oyarsun's copy of the application. So that you would get it. They sent Luisa well, we Oyarsun's copies of the application. So they need to, ma'am, ma'am, let me finish, please. They sent they have you on the same case, so they probably sent you out just one application. But I will talk to them. They're more than willing to work with you on this. Uh, I also have a uh, two have notifications from the from the illegal aliens mafia members from Livingston County and government employees. They sent me a notice saying that I was re I was going to receive uh, separate food stamps for from uh, Luis Yasun and Luis Yasun received the same notice. Now we are uh, receiving one uh, food stamp. Who did you get a notice from? From, from the Livingston County Department of Social Services Commissioner, uh, Ms. Diane Dane, an illegal aliens mafia member. Saying that you were going to get? Yes, that w I was going to get separate uh, food stamps from Lisa Oyasun because we filled out two separate, um, two separate uh, applications. And uh, after that, they refused to give me a copy of my application and only gave Luisa Oyasun a copy of her application after we contacted the news reporters. And now you're telling me that uh, uh, we are both in one case and they're, and they're only issuing $278 worth of food stamps when I have interviewed illegal aliens mafia members and illegals uh, in the country and they're receiving $300 per capita of food stamps. And they're illegal. They're receiving that through the Department of Social Services. Uh, and through the, I the commissioners. I can't other people's cases. I don't know anything about that. Um, I will look into this a little further and see what I can find out for you, and I will give you a mm -hmm. call back on Monday morning. Yes, right? because they, they we did a face-to-face, -face and uh, we were there for four hours, and the Department of Social Services Illegal Aliens Mafia members in Livingston County and uh, government um, employees, they are very very well aware that we uh, cook separate meals and we mm -hmm. have a, a separate diet because what I cannot eat what a chronically ill epileptic citizen who is elderly eats. 
I'm a, I'm a young woman. I'm, I'm not elderly and chronically ill, so I cannot eat without salt. I cannot eat without sugar, and I, I have to eat regular food. And they are very, very well aware of that. Okay. So I will... I will look into it and see what I can find out, and I will give you a call back on Monday after I have more information. Uh, yes, uh, and please uh, ask them to please okay. stop stop stealing from the taxpayers and selling the citizens' government benefits, please. Thank you.